Welcome to a new feature we're calling Quick Take, hosted by me, Jody Lai, the new managing editor of Autoguide.com. It'll be a more compressed car review format, so it's really appropriate that the first car we're testing is kind of compressed. This is the 2015 Fiat 500 Abarth. Normally, it's one of my favorite cars to drive, except this particular model has one thing wrong with it. It has an automatic transmission. Until this year, the Abarth version of this hilariously fun little guy has only been available with a manual, and that's the way it should be. But having an automatic in this Abarth is like having a really dirty rap song and then bleeping out all the bad words. It just loses its edge and takes away a lot of the fun. With a manual transmission though, this Fiat is so fun and so engaging to drive that I can forgive a lot of its faults. And it has a lot of faults. It has one of the most awkward seating positions I've ever encountered. Its infotainment system is pretty much non-existent. There are huge blind spots, terrible ergonomics, it rattles and bangs, and it has one of the tiniest trunks and back seats on the market. It also has a really high center of gravity that doesn't help its handling. But even with all those flaws and the six-speed automatic transmission, which makes it a little bit harder to forgive its faults, it's deliriously cheery and legitimately quick. Powered by an overachieving turbo four-cylinder, this little guy squeezes out a lot of power for a car this size. It has a huge personality and it easily wins the prize for best sounding compact car on the market. Just listen to all the amazing noises it makes. <laughs> One of the best things about this Fiat is that it makes you feel like a criminal, like you've gotten away with something. Except, you don't actually have to break any laws to have a lot of fun with this car. So the Abarth has a lot wrong with it. It's one of the least practical cars you can buy, especially when you consider that it costs more than a Nissan 370Z with a V6. Still, it is very easy to forgive its faults, but only if you do the right thing. Get a manual.